Alrighty, everybody, it is now May 26th of 2022, and we are just hours away from the official release of the Obi-Wan Kenobi TV series, which, by the way, in case you guys did not know, is going to debut with two chapters. So, really, we're getting a lot of the Kenobi show right off the bat, and then after that, we have four episodes remaining. So, basically, the entirety of June is going to consist of the Obi-Wan Kenobi TV show before we head into August, which is currently Disney's aim to drop the Star Wars and or TV series. Now, with that being said, however, guys, you know, we already know that a lot of things are happening as we speak. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars updates. Also, by the way, guys, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support. It is greatly appreciated. Now, one thing that a lot of fans have been very excited about is exactly what John, George, Dave, and Deborah are up to with the new Star Wars universe. Now, in case you guys did not know, Deborah Chow has been praised so much already for the Kenobi series before it even has dropped on Disney+. Plus. A lot of creators out there, you know, attached to Lucasfilm are already really, you know, raving about her work and how she is going to be attached to future Star Wars TV shows, either directing or writing all of that new material moving forward from all of this. Now, with that being said, however, what's even all the more exciting has a lot to do with the roadmap of the Star Wars universe. Now, we talked about this, that basically Lucasfilm's strategy is to announce new partitions of the roadmap in phases. So at this year's celebration, we're going to get a little bit of that. You know, a couple of new projects will be announced, as well as new details about Andor, Ahsoka, Acolyte, etc. Now, this fall, we will be learning a lot more about all the new Star Wars shows and films as well, and the next Star Wars celebration is going to be by far the biggest revelation, or the biggest reveal, of the roadmap of the franchise. So with that being said, however, with many new Star Wars projects in different phases by Disney and Lucasfilm, creators John and Dave, as well as Deborah Chow, are beginning to develop new Star Wars TV shows for Disney Plus that will take fans by surprise. Now, it's noted that recently Favreau, Filoni, and Chow have been working on a brand new series that is in the early stages that is set to bring in a brand new actor to portray Sheev Palpatine in a live-action Star Wars series that is set to take place before the events of Episode 1. Now, currently it's described that the series is currently dubbed as Project House that will focus on multiple royal families across the galaxy, including House Palpatine and House Dooku. One big element that is set to be explored for the new series that will be officially announced by this fall is that they already have extensive plans for Bill Skarsgård from the IT movies who played Pennywise to become the young version of Palpatine and showing fans exactly how he actually turned to the dark side under Darth Plagueis the Wise. The series is set to focus on corruption across the galaxy that eventually falls into the young life of Palpatine and that this is aimed to drop on Disney Plus sometime by either 24 or 25. Now further, it's noted that this series is also going to actually change Star Wars history when it comes to the dark side of the Force and new lore about the Sith. Both Favreau and Filoni are on a mission to create a major and big change for the Star Wars lore that will provide new, secret, new secrets about the Sith and Darth Plagueis as well that will change how they view not just the prequels, but also the sequels. One big scene that is already planned is set to showcase Palpatine destroying his master in his sleep in live action form for the very first time. So let me just stop right here for a second. Now, you can see that Favreau, Filoni, and Chow are trying to essentially expand what was only explained by words, right? Verbally speaking, by Palpatine to Anakin about the story of Darth Plagueis the Weiss. Now, Darth Plagueis the Wise is a very interesting story, and the fact that they are going to be implementing all of this into a lot of other Star Wars projects out there, including this one, is really something to actually be aware of. The fact that they are trying their absolute best to really give fans a lot to look forward to, and to really provide fans, you know, the expansion of what James Lucino did with his book called Plagueis, and how that's going to be done in live action form as well. Keep in mind that everything between Favreau, Filoni, and Chow 
is that they want to make sure that the future of the Star Wars universe is really going to take advantage of a lot of Legends lore and making that into a reality and bringing it into live action form or even animated material as well. So beyond all of that, all right, this is all already pre-planned for the show's Project House. That will also feature Willem Dafoe as Palpatine's father in the series, who will play indeed Kasinga Palpatine. Now, George Lucas is set to also join the project to supervise everything that John, Dave, and Deborah Chow do with the series and help them with the show. This is described to be a series that will be darker than Revenge of the Sith as a movie, and that Bill Skarsgård has been in the talks with John Favreau about this for almost a year now, since last July, about joining the project that is now moving all, of course, very well. Now, meanwhile, on top of all of this, all right, both Favreau and Filoni, believe it or not, are indeed attached to the Kenobi series season two that has now been greenlit by Bob Chapek, the Disney CEO. Both John and Dave will be the ones to call the shots on how Star Wars Legends will be inserted into the continuation of the Kenobi series and that they are also slated to write some episodes as well. Favreau and Filoni will be handling many of the characters' returns, such as Mace Windu and even Darth Maul in the new season, with the addition of Starkiller as one of the main villains in the series as well. Both John and Dave will also provide a time jump for the Kenobi TV show by two years, marking it 12 years after Revenge of the Sith. So here's the thing about this, between everything that's going on with Project House and what John and Dave are doing with the Kenobi series continuation and the Mandalorian season three and four and the Ahsoka Tano series, there's a lot that is being done with the actual Star Wars universe and they are gonna be getting more creators on board progressively. Now, one of which is Deborah Chow. All right, Deborah Chow is gonna become a writer for new Star Wars shows in the, in the near future to help with John and Dave to kind of bring all of this into reality and to make things actually happen. So that's one thing to be aware of. The other thing is this, is that thankfully Kathleen Kennedy is not involved on a creative scale for anything beyond the Kenobi TV series. Now the Kenobi TV series, keep in mind, had minimal Kathleen Kennedy input because some of the scripts from the original movie were implemented into the series that were actually supervised by Kathleen Kennedy. So you're gonna see a little shred of Kathleen Kennedy-ness in the Kenobi series. You're gonna probably see it here and there, but for the most part, it's all Deborah Chow, and it's all, of course, the new direction of where Star Wars wants to go right now by Disney. So overall, guys, you know, I think that at the end of the day, you know, Deborah Chow is gonna become the new John and Dave, she's gonna join that. You know, I think that given that she's passionate, she cares about the fans, you know, the fact that she knows a lot about legends, she knows exactly how the fans feel. This is of course, you know, all a good sign for the years to come under Deborah Chow, John Favreau, and Dave Filoni as well. So overall, you know, I think that at the end of the day also is that everything related to what they're doing with the Kenobi series and Project House, you can see that they are trying to enter darker elements of Star Wars. So with that being said, guys, you know, drop a comment below. Let me know all of this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support and I'll catch you guys next time. <laughs>